Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, oop, let me get my mic up here. Sorry about that. What is going on? Uh, I'm near of It's Your Boy. We're here. We're going to react to the new Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 trailer. Um, I'm super excited for this movie. Um, I've watched all the Marvel things, you know, but like... Oh, Ellie's here. Say hello to Ellie, please. Um, yeah, I, I feel like to me, in the grand... When I, when I look back at the whole Marvel Universe, like, Marvel Cinematic Universe, I'm like, I feel like the Guardians movies are the biggest standout ones to me. Like, in terms of, like, style and character and story, and, like, they don't feel as much like Marvel movies in a, in a way. So, um, also, James Gunn is awesome, and uh, I'm a big stan of the <laughs> of his live-action Scooby-Doo movies from back in the day. Um, yeah, so I'm a huge fan of these movies. I've seen them both a few times. Um, and... Uh, just watch the holiday special like i'm sure all of you did uh, a few days ago so um excited for this uh this is probably the most exciting movie of the upcoming uh mar phase of marvel although to be honest i i'm having trouble keeping up with what's coming anymore so because there's so much of it anyway let's get into it we were gone for quite a while no matter what happens next, the galaxy still needs its guardians. Okay, got everybody here. Hello. Oh, rocket's actually not here. In peace. <laughs> Come on, Drax. Seriously, dude? No, 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 no! Ow! <laughs> Stop for a second. I like their new outfits a lot, actually. The like the coordinated outfits. Um, I'm gonna miss Peter's jacket a little bit, but uh, yeah, I kind of like the I kind of like the coordinated outfits. It looks kind of cool. I can see them being a little bit more co cohesive as a team now, like that. Don't forget. Where are we came from? We have been running our whole lives. Yeah. I'm done running. Oh, Gamora's back with them. Interesting. Yeah, so I'm sure everyone remembers Gamora. This Gamora, this version of her, doesn't know the Guardians of the Galaxy, doesn't know Chris Pratt. Like, um, so, you know, I... I knew that they were going to bring her in again, obviously. I'm just, I'm curious how they do that in an organic way without feeling like they're trying to, like, shove her back into the into the group or anything because she's, like, her own different person. But, um, also, did I, who did I see back here? Was that, um, is that the, oh my god, what's his name? The, like, the guy from the meme, like, who? Uh, it starts with a D, I'm pretty sure. I'm surprised to see her with them like this. Yeah. We'll all fly away together. I'm getting some. One last time. I'm getting some hints. This is gonna deal a lot with Rocket's Into background. Forever. That beautiful. Yeah. Aww. Wait, who's that? Oh, that's uh, yeah. He's uh. God, I can't remember the actor's name. Uh, he's playing Adam Warlock. God, what is his name? It's messing me up now. God, I'm sorry. Hold on. I'll look it up after this. Just a little hint of him. <laughs> I love how heartfelt these, these movies are. And we'll kill anyone! Gets in our way. No. Not kill anyone. Kill a few people. Kill no people. Kill one guy, one stupid guy who no one loves. Now you're just making it sad. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it looks great. Very good trailer. Um good good kind of just like a taste of what we're gonna get without spoiling. What the is story. happening there, oh. citizens of the Um But yeah, uh okay, sorry, let's I know his name. He's the guy from uh she was in like the Maze Runner and stuff. Hold on. Uh, 
Will Poulter. Thank you. That's his name. Um, anyway, I like him in, in other stuff. He's He's been in a, a few things. He was in that Netflix thing too, Bandersnatch. But anyway, um, yeah, I so I did also play the Guardians of the Galaxy game um, that came out last year, which is phenomenal, phenomenal story. Like one of the best in games ever. Um, so I'm a little bit more familiar with Adam Warlock from the game, at least, because he hasn't been in the MCU yet. Um, but yeah, it looks, I mean, I... I think he's going to be a little bit more of a background figure in this because I don't actually know if they're going to be doing a Guardians 4, to be honest, though. Um, with James Gunn being the new uh, head of DC Studios, it feels to me like they're not. And I know that the other actors are very, very like attached to him. Like, to the point where I know Chris Pratt and Dave Bautista refused to do Guardians 3 without James Gunn. Um... And I think that's probably going to persist. Like, I, I would guess that this is the last Guardians movie, um, which would be totally fine. But I do wonder what Adam Warlock's role is then. Is he going to be like, I keep running this on mute. Is he going to be like more of a villain presence for this? And uh, they're just kind of keeping him close to the chest here. Or is he going to be a p bigger presence for the MCU as a whole? And this is just their means of introducing him. Because, like, and I, I could see the Guardian characters showing up again for, like, uh, the Secret Wars and, like, the King Dynasty, like, you know, the, the next Avengers movies. Um, I can also see them not doing that. Like, I would not be surprised if the actors kind of want to hang up the roles after this and James Gunn and all of them also want to move on. Uh, understandable. Oh, I, I don't think I saw Sean Gunn anywhere. I'm sure he's in it. Craglin. Um, I'm sure he's in the movie somewhere. Um... In the in the holiday special, they made it seem like Kraglin was just kind of like one of the like members of the Guardians of the Galaxy now. Oh yeah, the, I think I just saw him. Yeah, he's over here, so, and the Cosmos here too from the holiday special as well. Okay, so yeah, they're they're part of the crew. Um, but like yeah, I I don't know. I think that we are like I said gonna dive a little bit into Rocket's backstory, uh, the lab where he was bred and created and tortured and. Uh, where he was uh, basically just, like, horrible things were done to him. Like, a lot of that is covered in the game story as well. Like, what happened to him. And it's disgusting. Like, it's it's a really heartbreaking thing. And, you know, like, he has these hundreds of, of brothers and sisters, essentially, who were raised in there with him. And they were, they didn't make it like he did. Um, and so, you know, rescuing the people who are left there, destroying the laboratory, that kind of stuff is definitely something i would like to see there's a lot of emotion behind that and i think rocket's been like a little bit shafted with some stuff in these movies because like he's kind of just like this sarcastic asshole a lot of the time um i don't think he's had his like big character moment yet you know and i think that's this movie um certainly i can see that and you know um also excited, like, uh, you know, was revealed in the holiday special that Mantis is uh, uh, Peter Quill's sister, which is awesome. I think that's an awesome, awesome dynamic to have. And I think it's really cool to have just, like, a loving brother and sister relationship here without them being, like, petty and squabbly, you know? It's like, they're just, they, they just get along very well. Um, it's nice to see. It's just like they, I feel like when you have a brother and sister in a, in a movie on, especially on like some sort of team, you always see them getting, getting at each other's throats, but like, it's just really nice to see. Um, anyway, yeah, like I said, super excited for this movie. Um, I don't think anything that Marvel puts out next year is going to be close to this. Um, I'm also excited for Ant-Man 3, I, mostly because I love Paul Rudd. Um, I think that movie will be really good. I don't expect it to be like this good, which like, obviously it's not, obviously Guardians is not like Star Wars, like it's not that big, but like, I feel like this Guardians trilogy is going to be looked at in 10 years with as much love as Star Wars was looked at in the like late 80s, early 90s, you know, when it was 10 years old, if that makes sense. Um, and I mean, the fact all these movies can exist totally independently outside of the MCU like you could just watch these movies and I guess the holiday special or whatever and like you know you'd, you'd be okay like there'd be some missing context of course but like I think they do a good job standing on their own um 
while I have you, I am going to check out what else is on Marvel's Phase 5 docket. Because uh, I have forgotten. Let's see, this wiki is probably the most updated. This is such a small picture. Um, ugh, why is this in such low resolution? Okay, so Ant-Man and the Wasp in February, right? Yeah, Ant-Man 3... Marvel Secret Invasion. I believe that is the Disney Plus show with um, uh, Nick Fury, uh, Samuel L. Jackson, and Robin from How I Met Your Mother, uh, Maria Hill. Um, I believe they're starring in that, um, uh, dealing with the uh, Skrull um, and the body copying stuff, right? Um, I remember that they hinted at in Spider-Man. Um, Okay, and then we have Echo in summer. Okay, so on in the movie slate, we have Guardians of the Galaxy 3. That's May 5th. Nice. Okay. And then summer, we have Echo, which I believe was the character. She was like the third bad guy in the Hawkeye TV show, which to me just was like, I don't know that she needs her own show. It's cool that there's a Native American character getting their own show, um, but I also don't like think this is... This has not been presented as the most interesting character. They definitely could write in some really interesting stuff for her. So, you know, I'm very open to that being good. Um, the Marvels, um, I know about. That's kind of like a team up, including Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel and some other characters. So, you know, I'll check that out. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Captain Marvel movie. I liked Miss Marvel a lot for the first few episodes, and especially being Indian, like it really spoke to me. Um, but like, uh, the last few episodes of Miss Marvel, once they dug into all the gin stuff got like so stupid. So not to say this will be bad. Maybe it'll be really good. And it would be, I would love if it was really good. Cause that could be kind of like, a um, a more solid grounding point for these characters going forward when we get it to the, the Avengers, um, Loki season two, I wasn't as hot on Loki as everyone else, but you know, that's cool. Um, I don't know that Blade is still happening November 3rd, 2023, because they just found a new director <laughs> and a new scriptwriter. So I'm going to go ahead and say that got moved. Um, Ironheart, we, of course, know her from the Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Riri Williams. Um, I liked her a lot. Um, I think she she's a perfect character to get a Disney Plus show. Um, we already know her. We like her. You know, uh, they have plenty of room to develop her out, so... I'll definitely be watching that one. I am very not excited for Agatha, Coven of Chaos. Like, I thought Agatha was fun as a villain for a few minutes in WandaVision. And, like, uh, I just... The second I saw that was announced, which was a while ago, I was like, I'm not, I'm not interested. Like, the song was fun. It was funny. Like, it was a good laugh. And then it's like... This is, this is the peak example of Marvel just being like, any character that, like, is on screen for more than three seconds that the audience doesn't outright hate gets their own show. And it's just like, I don't, you don't need it. Um, Daredevil, of course, gonna be good, I hope. Um, I loved Daredevil's appearance on She-Hulk. He was great. Uh, the two of them have fucking amazing chemistry, the actors, um, Charlie Cox and Tatiana Maslany. Um, so I'm expecting to see She-Hulk in that, uh, show as well. Um, do some cameos or, you know, at least as a, yeah, at least as some cameos, maybe even as like a full supporting character, don't know. Um, I saw Foggy is back for that, which is good because it would not be Daredevil without Foggy. So I hope it's good. I hope it doesn't get like Disneyed up too much, but we'll see. Um, Captain America, uh, Captain America 4 is, uh, I'm interested to see this because I liked a lot of Falcon and the Winter Soldier and like Anthony Mackie's good. I like him. I think he's got the acting chops to pull off something like excellent. I just feel like he's not being given good enough material so far. Um, I'm excited to see him take up the reins as Captain America. Like I'm just not sure if they're going to write it well. So we'll see how it goes. And Thunderbolts I'm just the least excited for of all these things but whatever. We'll get to it. Um yeah, anyway, so thanks for sticking with me if you stuck all the way to the end. But yeah, it's um I'm I'm really excited for Guardians. This will certainly be the best movie they have next year in or even movie or TV show in Marvel stuff, so. Anyway, 
All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Um, let's see. Uh, I think that's about it. Just, uh, you know, oh, comment if you have any thoughts about Marvel's Phase 5 slate what you think is going to be good or not, or, you know, anything like that. If you think Blade is ever going to actually get made, uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff.